Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my February favorites, which is insane. Every time I film a favorites video, I feel like the months fly by even faster. I actually don't have too many favorite things to share with you guys today, so this might be a very short, sweet video. I can't always plan how many favorites I'm going to have, and I feel like sometimes I have 20. This time I have like seven, so we're just going to get right into it. These are the things that I've been loving this month. So let's start off with some makeup products. This is actually something that I rediscovered this month and I've been wearing it basically every single day since I rediscovered it. Um, earlier this month I filmed a video where I was recreating my very first makeup look or like the very first makeup tutorial that I posted here on YouTube. And in that video, I used this right here. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I actually had to go run out and buy this for that video. And ever since that video, I have been using it all the time. It's what I have underneath my foundation today. I feel like it just makes the most beautiful glowy canvas. And I forgot how much I love this. It had been so long since I had used that. So I'm really happy that I filmed that video because I kind of rediscovered an old favorite of mine. So this is the first thing I wanted to mention today. I know it's Something that a lot of us have probably tried before or it's been old news on YouTube if you haven't tried it before but I fell in love with it again this month so I wanted to make sure to share that. I meant to mention this in my last month's favorites video but I forgot and I've been really really enjoying this brow duo from the drugstore. It's actually from Milani. They had a couple new brow products that I got to try out recently and I've been loving them. This is the Milani Precision Brow Pencil and I have the shade 150 Espresso. I love this brow pencil. It's what I'm wearing in my brows today. I just feel like it's a very natural looking brow pencil and I'm always on the lookout for good brow products from the drugstore and I feel like this one really does check off all of my boxes so it has a spoolie on the other end which is something I always look for and on the other end it's a very very fine tipped pencil. I will say that I've learned that I have had to use very fine strokes to get the more natural looking brow that I personally like as far as brows go. If you use too much pressure it's easy to kind of get that blocky brow look but if you use a very light hand you can achieve these more natural feathery type brows so I've been really really into that and at the same time I actually tried out the Milani clear brow gel. It's just called the clear brow gel and I've really enjoyed this as well. I really love how fat the spoolie is. Look at this shape. I don't know and it seems like it might not make a difference but I personally have noticed that I really love this shape. I feel like it gives my brows even more of a feathery look to it so I've been enjoying both of these products and if you're looking for something new from the drugstore or a really good brow duo from the drugstore this is a really great one. I'm really happy that I tried this out. All right next up I have three lipsticks to share with you guys. Two of which are from Maybelline that I picked up earlier this month. I went to Walmart and I was looking through all the lipsticks that Maybelline has and I picked up these two and I'm obsessed with these two. Okay, the first one is called Truffle Tease. This is the um, color sensational lipstick from Maybelline and Truffle Tease is what I'm actually wearing on the lips. It's just the prettiest taupey beige color and it works really well with more bronzy smoky eyes or just when you need like a good nude lip. I've noticed that this one really really matches a lot of those types of eye looks in my opinion. Here it is swatched on my hand. It's such a pretty beigey nude but there's a little bit of pink in there which is why I think it's so flattering. I absolutely love it. The formula is beautiful as well. I cannot get enough of it. The second lipstick is also from Maybelline. It's in the shade Rosy Risk and this one is definitely more of a pinky rose color. I'll swatch it next to Truffle Tea so you guys can see the difference but I really love both of them equally. I will say that I usually wear Rosy Risk when I have more of a subtle eye and I like to wear Truffle Tees when I have more makeup on the eyes. So you'll see right here this is Rosy Risk. It's much more of a pinky mauve kind of a nude. It's still a nude in my opinion, but there is that punch of color. So that's why I tend to use it or tend to wear it when I have a little bit of a softer eye look on. But both these colors are so stunning, you guys. I love them so much. I cannot get enough of them. And the formula is great too. And they just happen to be from the drugstore, which is amazing. The third lip product that I have absolutely been loving is from Shantikai. I always talk about Nikki makeup on Instagram here on YouTube, but I love watching her Sunday tutorials on her Instagram story. And in one of those tutorials, I honestly don't even know which one. It wasn't a recent one. I was watching some of her old ones on her story highlights, but she mentioned this lip product right here. Again, it's from Shanta Kai. It's the Lip Chic in the shade Patience. This has been living in my purse. It is such a beautiful product. It's the most expensive tinted lip balm product that I've ever purchased. So I was kind of hesitant, honestly but I'm so glad that I picked it up. I will show you guys what it looks like swatched next to those other colors. So here's the Shantikai one. It's more of a sheer balmy formula 
which you can kind of see right there. It's not as pigmented as the other cream lipsticks that I am talking about, but it's just got the best like undertone, like natural undertone. It's actually kind of a mix between the two. And when you put it on your lips, it leaves the most beautiful shine, but it's not like super glossy. It just looks healthy and plump. And so this has been living in my purse, you guys, honestly. And I have been wearing it on a daily basis. It is so beautiful. It's definitely one of those products that you can build up if you want to and the color will show up, but it's also kind of like a just slap on your lips kind of a product for like no makeup makeup days as well, which is why I've been using it so much. So those are the three lip colors that I wanted to share with you guys today. The next two things that I have to share with you are more like hair and body. So the first thing, okay, I've been testing this out for about two or three months now. And when I first got this, I bought it in like a bundle, which will make sense once I share it with you. But I bought it in this like body care bundle. And it was like the thing that I was the least excited about out of the things that I purchased. So if any of you guys follow Sarah's Day here on YouTube, she's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers to follow. I love her videos. But she did a collaboration with La Bang Body and she made like a body scrub, a body butter, a deodorant, and then like a massage bar. Anyway, I bought the set and this deodorant was in it. This is the Sarah's Day Pity Party Natural Deodorant Putty. So the thing that like, threw me off about this at first was the fact that it's a putty, which means that you have to apply your deodorant with your hands. So you take like a pea sized amount and you like melt it and then smash it in your armpits, which sounds repulsive, honestly. And in the beginning I was like, ooh, like I don't know if I'm into that. So it sat on my shelf for a minute. And then I decided to give it a shot because I'm always looking for natural deodorants that work. I've gone through so many. I have tried every single natural deodorant under the sun, I feel like. And this, you guys, is absolutely incredible. So you'll see, I've used quite a bit of it and it's kind of gross that my finger has to be dug into this. But you guys, this works and it smells really good. It smells like coconut and lime. And I have gotten over the fact that I have to use my hands to apply my deodorant because it works so well. I am so impressed with this deodorant. I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to like a normal way of applying deodorant just because I feel like I really do get way better results with this putty type of thing. I don't know if it's because I can control exactly where I apply it because I use my fingers or if it's like the putty formula just sticks to my armpits way better than other natural deodorants and it really, really works. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, this, Again, this is something that I've been using for like two or three months. So it's not something that I just tried out yesterday and I'm telling you, you know, to go out and buy, but it's something that has worked super well for me. I've been using it every single day for months now and I've loved it. So this is something that I will continue to repurchase and I'm really excited about it. Even though at first I was like, absolutely not. Now I can't picture using anything else for a deodorant. Okay, last but not least, I told you guys this was gonna be kind of a short video, but last but not least, I have a curling iron that I wanted to share. So T3 has sent me some things in PR in the past and they recently sent me this right here. This is their World Trio. So it's a curling iron, but the tops of it is interchangeable, which is really nice. It's basically like a wand. So you can see right here, you just unlock it and then you can go ahead and change out the tops. I really wanted to share this with you guys because I've been getting so many compliments on my hair every time I've been doing it and I curled my hair with this today. So like I said, it comes with three barrels, but this is the one that I like the most. And I really like how it doesn't have a clamp on it because I always like to just wrap my hair around the barrel and I love how it has a little bit more of like a tapered end. So you get a little bit of a larger curl at the top and then as you move down, it gets a little bit tighter, which I feel like looks so natural. It works so well in my hair. My curl also holds really, really well with this, which is not the case with all curling irons for my personal hair type. I don't know why, but my hair tends to go flat very quickly because it's pretty fine. So a lot of times when I use heat tools, they don't really hold the curl in my hair at all, but this really does. Like it lasts all night long and I just love it. I know you can't really see my whole head of hair right now, but I have really been enjoying this a ton and it's actually made me really excited to actually style my hair because I don't know, styling hair has always been a little bit of a hassle in my opinion, which is why you'll see me wear my hair up 90% of the time. It's just because I usually do not want to go through the hassle of blow drying or straightening or curling my hair or whatever it might be, but this makes me really excited and I always love the results that I get using this curling iron. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. 
Well, that was a very, very short favorites video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it to be helpful, and I would love to know in the comments if you guys have any favorite items that you have been loving this month. There's been so much new makeup that I feel like I've tried so much this month, but nothing's really stuck in my routine yet, which is why I'm kind of like waiting a little bit to share some of the other things that I'm into right now, but these are the for sure things that I have been absolutely obsessed with over the past month, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to read through the comments and know what you guys have been loving as well. So don't forget to comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!